God. Hurry! Holy God, crap. Hurry! Ah! Welcome to the Black Hearts Club. Tonight I'm at a really special event down in Lawton, Oklahoma, which is the Trail of Fear Haunted Scream Park. It's the number one highest rated haunted attraction in Oklahoma, and they've been featured in Haunt World Magazine not once, but twice. It's also been rated as one of the top 31 attractions in the entire United States. This is their 27th year, so I'm excited to get in there and check out everything that I can see. I know not quite everything is open right now, but that's okay because I'll talk about what there is, so join us, or rather join me. If you dare. What? Alright, got a little graveyard right here. That's pretty cool. Smoky. Wasn't very old. Here is the entrance to Psychotic Nightmare. I'm gonna walk back this way a little bit and we're gonna look at the line here. Suffice it to say, there's a reason this is a popular event. This is the line just to get into that specific attraction. It goes all the way back to basically the main entrance. So for reference, that's the literal entrance into the event. This is the back of the line just for the maze. So right here is Curse of the Black Swan Escape Room. Not currently running this season, or at least during the Halloween event. Come here, right here. Stop! Face me. All right, so in this room, it's the night night room. I'm gonna put you to sleep. You're never gonna, no, I'm just kidding. You're not gonna wake up ever again. <laughs> but beyond these walls is Dr. Nine Nine. For 11 years, she's worked on a potion that'll put you to sleep forever. Makes you go, and she's running around with her bed bugs. They're about like this. They're like little people on steroids. Oh, that's gross. Oh, it is gross. <laughs> Wait, that was wrong. In the count of three, I'm gonna net you go to sleep. One, two, four, ten, twenty. Oh. Nine Nine, get out of my room! Run! Oh. There's... What's your name? Jed. Jeff? Yeah. Hi, Jeff! Hi. Hi, Jeff! Hi. Can I tell you a secret? Please. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. Oh, Jeff! Oh! What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Every color. Every color? Yes. Every color? Uh-huh. Wow! Are you here for the party? Are you here for the princess party? I think so. Uh -huh. You are? You are? I'll miss you, Jeff! Bye. I'll miss you, Jeff! Hi, welcome. Come on in. Come on Hi. in. Oh. Don't mind the mess. Oh. Don't mind it. Oh. Look at my babies. I just must leave. My oh. babies through, are very jealous. Through, through the fridge I go. Oh, oh my God! Babies? I told you they were sweet babies! <laughs> Something right here. You got nice skin on you. Oh, nice and supple. I'd love to keep it. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Johnson, are we, huh? Yes. Do you not like clowns? You hate them? Yes. Why? Keep fucking dreads like that! And you'll end up like my buddy Bob right here. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Hello, would you like oh. to join me, my mirrors? Sure. You go lucky! Get through those oh. doors, Chris, where you got your stuff and out like mine! You better end up like Frankie! He never woke up! Oh, that is really cool. Oh! There was somebody there. Or something. Oh. Oh. Mason, I was crazy. 
Now look at them. They're nothing but a pile of bones. <laughs> oh boy. I hear somebody. What do we got here? Oh. We got a DNA wall. Ah! Ah! This one's fun. Ah! Come on. God. Hurry. Holy God. I don't love it. came out of twisties. I gotta say, uh, it was pretty much everything I was thinking it would be and hoping it would be. Definitely had like a, kind of like a psychiatric uh, feel for it. Honestly, my brain is just flooded with stuff right now that I can't even process what I just went through. Without fail though, the creepiest part of it was what had to have been their youngest actor in there as she was crawling along the ground, basically following me the entire way through that room, just absolutely mortifying. I definitely like this one, and I know there's others to check out, so I'm gonna go try and find out how to get to those. So here's Copper Grove's Crypt. It's a five minute escape room, and one of the other escape rooms in the non-maze attractions that are here. And then the other escape room is the Morgue five minute escape game. They do have a food stand here. The food and drink menu, things to drink, things to snack, and then a little bit of dessert as well. All right, I did get some rumor mills. It's not really rumors, it was directly from Bob the owner that this pyramid back here, this is in development to be another escape room. They're in the process of renovating it right now to make another attraction. And then this right over here, this little scaffolding, it's part of the Christmas event they do, which I'm gonna be really sad to miss because I love Christmas events, especially when they're mixed with scary. I've heard great things about both the Halloween and the Christmas events. When you come down the end of this row here, you see kind of like these glowing water jugs. This is the line for the hayride that brings you to the other attraction, which is located on the other side of the property. And I don't really know what to expect. I think it's another like maze or walkthrough, but I'm about to kind of get in line uh, and then ride down and check it out and see what it's about. And just like on the first one, there's a fast pass stop and then the general admission. All right, so there's a little bit of a line right here. And what do you guys think? Are you ready to go down to Hackensaw? Yeah! The wagon here does have hay to sit on, so at least you don't have to sit like on the actual ground, if you will. Uh, but they can they can transport quite a few people at a time. And then when you're done, you just come out here into the line to load up. But before we go back, it's time to go in. Okay, so up next is the 
Hackensaw Haunted Hayride. All right. Right around to your right. We are wandering. All right. I'm Dixie Rose. Ma's eldest sister, what's married to Pa. But y'all will call me Auntie. How many of y'all been to the Hack and Saws for dinner and lived to tell the tale? We came from a town of noble. Well, town folks started noticing neighbors be missing. So Mom and Pa decided to pack the family up. And that's when we stumbled to Lawton. And we felt right at home. I just did my floors! Don't run! Because you run, you're gonna trip and fall on Uncle Butch's table for dinner. <laughs> Through my store, not much here tonight, as you see. Cool. I don't like to share, so I do keep it locked up. But if you want, you'll go down my hall. Miss Daisy will get your next down the hall. <laughs> Gator's food truck. This is a very cool set. The suspense is killing me. Oh! Hi! Hi! Oh boy! As long as I'm not dinner. Oh, there's someone on the car. Well, 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 look at what they brought right here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, which one of y'all is going to be my dinner, huh? Not you? No, 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 oh, no, no. I don't, you don't think so? I, I hope not. Oh, well, that's just so sad, isn't it? I, I taste terrible, I guarantee it. Mm, I don't think so. I think <laughs> you'll do great here. <laughs> well. Oh, oh. What, are you going to stay for redneck caviar? Huh? I don't know what that is. Well, I don't know. Ma was supposed to be making it, and I don't know. I haven't heard from Ma for a day. Oh, more chainsaws. Hopefully, they're just cutting down trees. You sure you didn't want to stay for redneck caviar? Did you miss me uh, yet, huh? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, choose your choice. Choose your oh, choice. Choose? Choose your oh. choice. All right, we're just gonna go what seems like the, the logical way. No, oh, that didn't sound good at all. There's dinner right there. Hello. Hi. Oh boy. What, what's in your hand there? Oh God. That's a turkey carver. <laughs> that to be a you carver? No, 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 no. Oh boy. Oh, that sounds horrifying. Are you staring at me for a boy? I'm, I'm not. Oh, no. Uh-uh. What do we oh. got a real pretty fella here? Why? Who wants to join me for some tea? Oh, y'all go see Brother Dane. He'll get you right. He'll cook you up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What yeah, is that sound? Oh, yeah, you oh, want to join me for no tea? Oh, my God. <sighs> How about some food at my house? Come on. Uh, I guess. Oh. Very spry. I can't keep up. Sure, you oh, ain't want no God. tea? Oh, my house is open every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 
both. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. You're staying for dinner. I already have dinner plans. Ah! Uh, you don't want to stay with us? Clean it! Better stay in there! <laughs> right this way. All right, thank you. Better not keep dinner waiting, clean it! I'm currently stuck. Okay. Oh. Look that, nice. You must be Cletus. Yes, I'm Cletus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Jed. Jed? Yeah. Can't wait for you to meet the family. So haven't I met them yet? No? Yeah, you still got a few more. A few more? You can just put that down. Oh, there's more family. <laughs> Time is on my side. <laughs> Come on. Come on in. Open that door. Okay. Okay, I'm going. Come on, you're doing that thing, doing up. You're gonna use that skeleton clock with everybody I can tell you. Must we'd open the door, yeah. but it won't open. Okay, we're going. in Hackensaw and about to ride on our way back up. Right inside the entrance, they actually do have a store. Come in and kind of check out a little bit. It's very cool, decorated in here. I love the chandelier. So this this actually has the attraction. So there's Hack and Saw and Camp Twisty, and then the Curse of the Black Swan Escape Room. So this one looks like that's from two years ago, the 25th anniversary, which is actually a very cool shirt. And then kind of a, a generic Trail of Fear. And the one thing that I forgot to mention, which is back over by the entrance for the Hayride, is this nondescript aluminum building standing here. This is where they actually have their show that happens multiple times every night. It is not running tonight, but it will be opening very shortly after tonight. Lurking and looming by the graveyard, I found Bob. So Bob is the founder and owner and so we just wanted to steal a couple minutes of his extremely busy, multifaceted night um, and just find out a little bit about uh, the event. So uh, I guess the first thing we'll say is, so where did the idea come from and how long have you been doing it? We started doing this in 1998. Uh, this year we're celebrating our 27th anniversary. And uh, what's awesome is I started this with my dad. And so uh, in, in the early mid 90s, I was working in a Halloween store uh, and my dad was trying to raise money to open a science discovery center because he was a science teacher So we were trying to build a science museum here in the local community in Southwest Oklahoma 
And uh, he came home one day and he's like, hey, you, you like haunted houses still, right? And I'm like, I love haunted houses, dad. And he's like, great, I just bought 40 acres. Let's build a haunted house. And that, I promise you, is how it started. We're the oldest haunt in Oklahoma, I believe. I believe, I'm not 100% sure. Fright Fest with Six Flags might be running longer, but I'm not sure that they started Fright Fest in Oklahoma before we started doing our haunt. Right. And, it was close. And I don't know if you can count Fright Fest because it's a national thing, so. I mean, it, it, what's funny about that, and, and, and not to promote Six Flags haunts, but <laughs> when I went about a decade ago, it was a joke. I was just like, this is terrible. I had the chance to go a couple years ago, pleasantly impressed. I mean, great props, good actors. They, they just, they seem to up their haunt game, at least here in Oklahoma. Okay, awesome. And I thought it was great. I had a good time, a, a much better experience than I had had six or seven years prior. <laughs> you know, because as a haunt owner, we were really persnickety when we go to other haunts. And when I was there seven years or so before that, I was like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> when I went back just three, four years ago, it was, or about five years ago, and I was really good, really good. Excellent, and then, I'm going to put you on the spot now yep. and just remember before you answer, everybody that works here is watching this right now. Yes. What is your favorite part or attraction of this event? So as the owner, my favorite part is getting to see the people that come year after year. They're bringing their kids and a couple years ago, a couple that I had recognized their kids their kids brought their kids. So we had three generations of people that come out to the Trail of Fear, and that just, that, that means the world to me. And you know, we're a big community partner. We raise a lot of money uh, for charities. We help out with the blood drive. We have a whole Ghastly Giver campaign with the Our Blood Institute. Mm -hmm. uh, we also raise, uh, we help raise money and we, we provide food for Hungry Hearts Feeding Ministry here in town. And that kicks off next week and where we, we give discount coupons to people that bring uh, canned goods and frozen and foods and stuff for Thanksgiving and holiday meals and they give those meals out to the community. So we just really try to be a really good community partner and that's really what is the driving force behind everything that we do because when you're in a community so long, right, you're no longer the haunt, right? You're no longer, oh, let's go out to that haunted house. Nobody that lives here even calls it the Trail of Fear anymore. Like, let's go to the trail. The it's just the trail. That's you know, awesome. And they expect it every October. People come out, have a fantastic time, and we're able to provide a fun, safe environment for all of those that come out. And it's that's what means a lot to me. That's my favorite part. That was a very, very good answer without upsetting every other actor or attraction within here. I and should be a politician. <laughs> I mean, it'd be huge. <laughs>I was stalking the Instagram uh, page a little bit, and did I did you see, see all three of our Instagram followers. Oh, <laughs> I did. Yeah, uh, all and three: Ted, Steve, and Martha. Perfect. I'm just and, kidding. And I did notice um, that one of the most recent posts was about uh, donate some blood, right. and then and then you can get in. So that right. that's great that it's such uh, rooted in the community here. Uh, right. We, um, we give over a thousand tickets away. Wow. To, so uh, so what, what's been happening, this week was our Mission Express. So the thing that you saw today was the last day of our Mission Express where we have actors that show up and we have signs by the road, you know, trying to just drum up some extra people. But for this week, everybody that came in and donated blood in the center got mm -hmm. a free all pass. So that's okay. a $25 value. But for the previous four weeks and next week, every kid that donates at high schools and other events, they get a free single attraction ticket. So it's a really big way to get the high school kids involved in donating blood. Definitely. And uh, you know, and the reason why the, our, our Blood Institute, the partnership with the Trail of Fear is so important to me is I'm alive today because of a blood transfusion when I was an infant. Okay. So, you know, and, I, and the story, if it could be believed, you know, because that's what I was told as a kid, is that my dad went out to his army unit or his former army unit on post and said, hey, my kid's really sick. I had to have brain surgery, which probably explains a lot of this. Uh, but, but apparently they got blood and stuff like that. And it was, it was, the blood transfusion was part of what, you know, helped me live through the surgery, you know? So it's just kind of cool. So yeah. stuff like that really means a lot to me to be able to give back to the community in such a way. And man, blood impacts more than just our local community. Our Blood Institute here in Southwest Oklahoma sent a lot of blood to Florida recently just to help prepare if they needed the blood in that area because of the hurricanes, yep. that's huge, man. In some small way, we're able to help out a larger community uh, because blood is needed everywhere. 
not just here in Southwest Oklahoma. And so I guess any any last things you want any any of our viewers to know before they come here, after they come here, um, just kind of like your closing remarks. Guys, it's a great place to come. You know, so we're, we're, we've been the number one rated haunt in Oklahoma for a long time. We're the largest haunt in Oklahoma. And uh, it's just a heck of a lot of fun, and it's a fun family environment. You're not gonna see really over the top gore. We don't have a lot of cleavage showing and stuff like that, because some haunts do that, which is fine. I enjoy going through things like that. But when you have young kids come through, it's just, it's just, not, it's just not what we wanna do, but we do not recommend the kids under 10 come through. <laughs> we will have the random five or six year old that comes through that's laughing having the time of their lives, and then you'll see these random 12 and 13 year old kids that will obviously need therapy when they leave. <laughs> you know, so it's like, you know your kids better than we do. So, yep. you know, but yeah, would you come out, it's a great time. Thank you for your time. Excellent, and Bob, I appreciate it, and thank yeah. you very much. Thanks, man, no, I appreciate that. It was good to see you guys. You well, too. Good to see you. <laughs> no, there's a whole crew behind the camera. It's 20, 30 people back there just clapping and holding up my cue cards. It's yep. great. You ready, here it is. All right, so we are getting a little sneak peek on the inside of the pirate ship here. Yeah. Hopefully there's no critters in here. Going in through the exit. Those are some of the candles that we take. Uh, we, we, we take out the little microchips in the bottom and put special remote things so it activates with the remote. We can flicker them, we can turn them on, we can turn them off, and we can program it in a sequence so when they come in the room, it kicks mm -hmm. off the sequence. And so we're actually going in backwards. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so anybody that watches this just realize we're, we're going oh, backwards. Man, Way. Ooh, yeah, we haven't walked in here in a while. Spiders! <laughs> Why am I going first? This is not fair. <laughs> not fair. Ah, there we go. All right. So you can kind of see. I mean, what's interesting is it's a lot bigger uh, when, you, when you do the thing. So, this is the first room. It's just all decked out. We had several puzzles in here. It's very, very cool theming, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed this stuff over here. It's yeah, my dad made cool. that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I am all about homemade decorations. Oh, my dad made this, too. Kraken. It's a real, it's a real cage. We built the cage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's all legit. They would lock him in. And <laughs> we actually had a wedding in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the manager that I was talking about that had the kiddo, uh, he had his wedding in here. Very cool. Yeah. All right, so that's going to wrap up my night at Trail of Fears, right? Trail of Fears Haunted Scream Park. Uh, it was a great time. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I realized I didn't actually talk about Hackensaw. Um, as it compares to Twisty, so very different feel. Obviously, it, it's a play on, uh, you know, a redneck and country a little bit. It was super fun, really creepy walking through there, and a lot more outdoors than in Twisties. All in all, it was a great event. I did not do any of the escape rooms because as soon as I got here, they were already booked out all the way through the entire night. So if you're gonna do one of those, get here early to book one of the escape rooms. Um, lots of stuff to do. You can spend a, an evening here, family fun, as Bob mentioned. We hope you like this type of content. If so, make sure to join the club by slashing that subscribe button below. And until next time, we'll see you on the dark side. <laughs>